नमस्कार टुडे इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउसिंग ऑफ स्विच रेल स्विच रेल विथ स्टॉक रेल इन ए थिक वेब स्विच पॉइंट लेआउट दिस इज ए थिक वेब स्विच लेआउट व्हिच इज हैविंग एन एसएसडी एंड दिस इज द लेआउट व्हाट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू बी रिमेंबर्ड फॉर हैविंग अ प्रॉपर हाउसिंग of uh, switch, uh, switch rail with tang rail generally in tws the switch rail and tang rail will be housing up to 10 sleepers very easily and uh, with proper adjustment even it will be available up to 30th sleeper so what are the important points here let us start with metal liners engineering requirements the metal liners uh, should be provided from sleeper number 3 to 20 in 1 in 12 layout if it is 1 in 12 layout these metal liners liners are provided for uh, erc shall be provided up to 20th sleeper after that you can pro provide um, nylon liners but it is suggested to provide metal liners up to 20 sleepers from 3 if it is 1 in 8 and half you have to provide from 3 to 13 to curb gauge variation this gauge will also be changing at regular intervals to to in order to avoid any gauge variation we have to provide these ercs or generally called as pendrol clips this shall be of mark 5 type pendrol clips which shall be provided especially for sleeper number 3 4 and 5 3 4 and 5 sleeper shall be provided with mark 5 pendrol clips packing off point whenever there is any packing so especially manual uh, manual packing then you have to be uh, you have to check for proper housing if it is unimat packing it is suggested to remove all the ground connections and packing should be carried out after removing the ground connections apart from the, the correct alignment in, in fitting of ssd is very very important what are the requirements and important points to be remembered let us discuss in the next two slides here you can see the ssd the main stock rail to stock rail distance shall be 1745 mm ssd plate shall be fixed on sleeper number 13 this is sleeper number 13 which is have provided with gauge type plate insulation also here there are two this is one arm and this is one arm the arm longer arm shall be provided for the curved tongue rail curved tongue rail this is the curved tongue rail then you have to provide the longer arm which is of 270 mm the other end will be of 180 mm this distance shall be 180 mm while the longer from this pin to this edge shall be 270 mm you should adjust in such a way the insulation shall also be provided or to the long arm and in the curved tongue rail only this is very important next going to the measurements let us first know the most important thing these four pins shall be in straight line so this pin this pin this and this shall be in straight line for proper working of ssd as discussed this shall be 270 mm which is longer one while the shorter one shall be 180 mm this distance from here to this shall be 180 mm this spring length shall be around 165 mm to 175 mm this shall be 50 mm this shall be 50 mm there may be small changes but this is only indicative it is suggested to go with the above measurements this is called a junction of rail head and the opening shall not be less than 57 mm generally up to 60 mm for open switch while in the closed side it shall be less than 10 mm so these are the important uh, parameters for ss rubber pads between chair plate and sleeper 
of specification 4610 shall be used so it is between chair plate and sleeper so here you can see the rubber pad the rubber pad shall be used of specification 4610 while there is another rubber pad over here that is between uh, stock rail and chair plate this rubber pad shall be of specification 4614 whenever this 4614 rubber pad generally will be damaged due to train movements so whenever any chance is available you should make effort to remove all these rubber pads and provide with uh, new rubber pads if these rubber pads are damaged the stock rail will uh, come down and proper housing will not take place apart from that ms flat tie bar shall be connected between sleeper 3 and 4 so between sleeper 3 and 4 in the opposite side of your uh, point machine this shall be provided and also ms tie bar shall be provided between sleeper number 3 2 1 1as and 2as on both sides so this is provided here similarly on the other side also it shall be provided actual to off switch the actual to off switch shall be marked at stock rail with a white paint you can mark a white paint to identify creep or any other movement of the tongue rail in future if the point goes out of square and if the tongue rail moves away from the actual to off switch you can easily know if there is any marking with white paint these points shall be remembered for proper housing of stock rail with tongue rail thank you